Hi, I'm Sarah Gillam, and today I'm going to be doing a workshop for the online live art classes. Today we're going to be doing a collage workshop to make a surreal image. You're going to be using found images. So first of all, you'll need to collect these items together. So you'll need some found images. Um, you can either use books or um, I've got some postcards here. These books I bought in a charity shop or magazines or anything you've got an interesting image on it that you're drawn to and that you don't mind cutting up. Also, you will need a craft knife, but I like to use a small pair of scissors and some rulers. Also, you'll need some newspaper. Um, for sticking down, you can either use a prick stick, but I like to use spray mount, um, which is more professional. But if you're using the spray mount, you'll need to use the dust mask as well. Also, you'll need some gloves and possibly a cutting mat too, and a pencil as well. Okay, so if you spend some time gathering these pieces together and then start the video again. So the first thing you'll have to do is to spend some time looking through your images, books, magazines, postcards, and choosing images that you're interested in working from. I've got this dull book here, and I've been having a look through, and I've been marking out the images that I'd like to make a collage on top of, and this one I'm particularly interested in. Um, so then the next thing I did was go and have a look through my postcards collection, and I found this mouth, which I really like, it's a black and white mouth from a film. Um, what I've done is I cut out the um, negative space in the middle using a pair of scissors. Some people might prefer to use a craft knife, but I quite like scissors, I get a bit more control using them. So I've cut that bit out and then I've laid it on here and I'm thinking, oh, I might like to fill this space with something. So then I went back through my selection of postcards and found this sort of vintage postcards from like it's like from a stately home and I've put that behind there I like the combination of the black and white and the color saturated image underneath so and then kind of putting this on top and seeing how it works spent a little bit of time doing this moving things around you know maybe I like it all over the face or I'd like it a bit down a bit or over under her eyes and then I also have another look through my book and have a look at some other images I've selected to see if it look any better. So it's quite interesting, not quite right though. I think I still prefer the first one. It's another image. So, so you'll just need to spend a little bit of time, first of all, looking through your images and selecting the ones that you want to work with and spend some time cutting them out. A tip that I have for you to making this process easier because it can feel quite overwhelmed when you've got lots of images to work from and you don't know how to select. What I often do is start with three different images. So one, two, three. Or sometimes it's just two, okay? So if you just limit yourself to two or three images to work from to begin with, okay? I'm just gonna have a finish having a play around and making sure I've selected the right images. So if you stop the video now and spend some time cutting and selecting and moving around images. And then in the next video, I will show you how to stick your images down. I've selected this image um, and I've cut it out from the book using um, this craft knife. And so now I've decided to go for placing it here because I like to have these deadpan eyes with a combination of this screaming mouth. So now what I've got to do is to mark, to register, to mark out where it goes on the image for when I stick it down. So what you need to do is you need to just like a pencil with a nice fine tip on it and to just move it around. I do this part by eye. So I think I like it there, I'm going to go for that. So I think it's equal on her face. And then I'm just going to a bit more. That's it, that's perfect for me. And then I'm just going to mark out here. And you've got to lift, lift the corner up slightly and you've got a little drop there. And a little drop there as well. Just so I know where it is. And then a 
here you've got some dots down the bottom of the board. You will have a bit of wiggle room for moving things around with the spray mount. Okay, so that looks good. And take it off and just check you can see your, your registration marks on here. And just check it over again. Yep, some more on there. Now I have to work out how to um, position this and to know when I'm sticking it. Um, like I said before, with the spray mount, you can move things around slightly, but I'd like to get the position correct-ish before. So I'm happy, I quite like it like that, with a bit of the tea and with the trees. So what I'm going to do is, again, use my pencil to just kind of do a mark here so I kind of know which way it is. good to me. Right, so the first pieces I'm going to stick together are these two pieces here. Um, I'm going to spray the spray mount onto the back of here. Um, give your spray mount a shake. Read the instructions on the back first of all. And you're meant to hold it about 30 centimetres away from the a piece of paper, okay, and then spread it over evenly. And then just give it a little bit of time so it's a bit tacky before sticking it straight on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this old newspaper well, just fold it up, and then place this image on here. Probably enough time to give it another couple of minutes, or a couple of seconds rather. And then bring it into the right position on here. So I've got my mark I made earlier on. Because that's why it's good to wear gloves, is so you don't transfer any stickiness and you've got your surface clean. You see it then it slightly sticks to the paper so you have to take it off before it fully sticks. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to put that to one side now. So now I'm going to stick this onto here. Um, I've got some fresh newspaper I'm going to put this to one side and then I need to spray the back of this image with the spray mount. I need to leave it just a couple of couple of seconds for it to get tacky. I'm going to fold that over. And I've got my registration points from earlier. Checking where they are. Could measure this out with a ruler, but I'm going to do it by eye. I think that's a bit too close to the um, the eyelashes, so I'm just going to remove it slightly and do it again. This is what's really great about using spray mount.
here she is up on the wall um, I suggest you do the same thing is to find a blank space and to pop your work up on the wall or on a clear table so you can have a proper look at it um, I've cut away the extra bit of paper that was on the side here so we're just focusing on the image um, I hope you've enjoyed this collage workshop it's a really exciting way to make interesting images and um, that can inspire you to then work from them make paintings from them or sculptures from them or just have them as work in their own right um, I also find it quite helpful to work on several collages at the same time and that's what I was doing when I was making this one in fact um, so I hope you've enjoyed it and um, continue to work this way okay thank you